Hey Glam Fam, so today I'm doing the I Tried Following Blank Makeup Tutorial and today, if you cannot tell, I'm doing Mikey from Glam and Gore and uh, she is one of my favorite YouTubers here on YouTube. I should have just decided to make this video a voiceover, but I didn't. I didn't do much talking in the video though, so I might have to voice over some of it. I'm doing her Speak No Evil makeup tutorial for two reasons, because it looks freaking badass, and second, it's one of the first videos that I watched of hers, and I've been super upset with her channel from that point on. And yeah, really quick, if you're new here, hello, I am Josie, I hope you will stay and subscribe and become part of the Glam Fam. I post new videos every single week. I also have a Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. They're also at Beauty by Josie K. And I hope you guys will go follow me over there because I do most of my talking to y'all on those platforms. And that is it. Let's get into this recreation. This is gonna be a creepy mouth cage thing over my mouth. Let's do it. You're gonna want a nice even base to start off with. So cover your lips and concealer or foundation so that it's the same color as your skin. You will need liquid latex and some cotton balls. Roll it out. Rolling it up. Piece, and we'll be able to make a mustache. Make a mustache? Hmm. And liquid latex top is glued on. <sighs> oh, Mikey, what is your what is what is your advice for this scenario? <clears throat> It is really on there. Gotta go get my other liquid latex. Let's start again, shall we? Liquid latex. Although this one's a little bit thinner. So pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay liquid latex down on our upper lip and then set the cotton on top of that. Cover that cotton in liquid latex until it's pretty fully saturated and this is how you're gonna be able to mold it. And then you just want to start pulling at the bottom so that you get that really gross, PC kind of effect. Keep repeating this process until the top lip is covered. Uh. No. No. Make sure you're blending the edges that are away from your mouth into your skin so that it's got a seamless finish. Sometimes I find that using a palette knife helps better for this than just using the wedge sponge itself. Might want to paint the inside the color that it's going to be, right? That makes sense, right? I took red, brown, and black aqua paints, filled in the mouth area, and then pretended like it never happened by going back to the cotton. Oh, good god, this is going so fast. I really wish this liquid latex was thicker. I also went in with my palette knife and poked around a little to open some of the holes. Good god, this is hard. Guys, it's really hard. It's a lot harder than Mikey makes it look. And dry, because if you don't dry first, you're not going to be able to paint on the wet latex anyway, and you're going to ruin your brushes. Alright, it is dry now. See that I didn't blend the edges out as much as I should have, but... Well, you live and you learn. So to paint, I'm starting out with a brown aqua color by Krylon, and I'm going to put that all over the surface of the cotton and latex. And I do have a darker concealer. The reason we're doing this is to make it darker so that when we put our foundation color on top of everything, it'll blend out much more evenly, rather than it being extremely light where the cotton is. So once we've got our darker base on the cotton and latex, then you can put your foundation color over top and it should blend out very evenly into your skin. Then using a red aqua paint, I'm going to accentuate all of the crevices and natural indentations in the cotton and extend some of the holes both downward and upwards. This is gonna make it look a lot more jagged and a lot creepier.
Then I'm taking a cool toned brown eyeshadow and I'm going to dust that over the entire thing lightly with a fluffy brush. I'm going to go in with your skin. regular water activated paint. So I thought I was about done here, which is when I started adding scab blood. This part's pretty easy. Just get in there. I usually use a palette knife for this, but you can also use Q-tips or you can use your fingers if you're not feeling too trypophobic at this point. But love knows I am, so f*** that. But once again, after stepping back and looking at it, I decided that it wasn't done and it needed to be a little bit bruised. I used this dark purple cream paint to do that. I covered the entire area lightly and I put down the color heavier as I was pulling out away from the gaps. And that's how you do this look. Halloween is over, so you may be wondering, what occasion can I possibly wear this at anytime soon? Might I suggest Black Friday? It could make people get out of your way if you're trying to get that big screen TV. I feel like it's just as good as it's going to get. So, here's my recreation. I hope you guys enjoy it. It'd be awesome if you guys stayed and subscribed and became part of the Glam Fam. And, that is it. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye, y'all. Bye. No, no, I didn't, I think not, I think not.